ah, we're here. We're relaxed. My hair's down. I got my cider. It's so good. I'm not really a drinker at all, actually. But those things? The last time I did a Q&A, I decided to answer questions about being a dad while doing my own makeup. And I'm very bad at makeup. I had a bubble. You ever get a bubble in your lip? Today I'm going to talk about something else that I'm familiar with. I am a licensed master barber in the state of Florida. And that means a few things. I specialize in men's hair. I do beards. I use the straight razor on lineups and the whole neck. I can shave whole faces. I've shaved whole heads. I do anything that pertains to men's hairstyling and cutting. I'm going to answer questions that pertain to my career as a barber. And so we're just going to get right into it today. Welcome to my barber Q&A. Would you work with clients while wearing gloves? I hear it's a sanitary thing, but I'm actually not sure. I wear one glove on this hand. I get all the Michael Jackson comparisons that you can shake a stick at. But I also have some guys that'll be like, what are you afraid to touch me? You think I'm gross? And I'll be like, yes. I don't know where you've been. You could be out being gross. I don't know. What do you, what you do with your hair? Maybe somebody gave you a swirly and you just never shampooed again. I have to assume that every client I've ever come in contact with is nasty. Absolutely disgusting. I can't trust a single one of them. They can have the cleanest looking hair and then they tell me I haven't showered in three days. I've been on a business trip and I just never went back to the hotel room. I'm just spitballing at this point. But yes, I wear a glove. I wear the one because I am tired of hair splinters. And if you don't know what a hair splinter is, consider yourself lucky. A hair splinter is if I'm not wearing a glove and I'm cutting hair, flicking, doing all that, you know, this stuff, and I get hair from their head all over my hand and arm. Let's say everything's hunky-dory, everything's a-okay, smooth, smooth as silk, smooth as butter, butter, and then all of a sudden I'm in excruciating pain. It's because there is one tiny little hair in one of my little fingies. They're so small and so thin and so perfectly tiny. And they can end up in my skin. <laughs> but yes, I wear a glove because it's sanitary and it protects me from getting stabbed. I don't like being stabbed. Ask anybody. Being stabbed, probably not cool. Or depending on the size of what you're being stabbed with, that makes it worse. The next question is, what are your feelings on those dumb videos where barbers cut people's hair with fire and axes? Do you find them dumb and dangerous too? I... Yeah, no, I dislike them. I think they're weird. They must cut one person a day. Just makes no sense. Who wants to smell burnt hair all day? They're like, oh man, I can't wait to go in there and smell like... But... Cider's getting to me. As a barber, do you barb? I barb. I barb a hair good. I barb a good hair well. Are you left or right-handed? I am right-handed. Left hand is for chumps. Shout out to all my left-handed chumps. What is your favorite product and what is it for? I am glad you asked. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite product of all time. This is Suavecito's strong clay or firm clay, depending on which side of the thing you're looking at. It is a dry product. Put about this much on your finger. Start from the back like this. Move your way to the front, you have a style. It adds texture to it. Suavecito in general is the greatest stuff I've ever used. Their clay, their matte pomade, their regular pomade, their strong hold, their light hold. They have a beard balm, they have a beard butter. Shampoo that smells like Fruit Loops. The shampoo smells like Fruit Loops. It's so good. And I will swear by it until I find something better. <laughs> have you given any really bad cuts? Yes, I have. <laughs> When I first started, I was absolutely trash. One of my first guys asked me for a bald fade. That was not my strong suit. I was still getting used to the fact that people could have bumps and dips on their head where hair was darker or lighter all the way through. Heads vary. It looks like I, it looks like my hair goes, it does not do that. That's a cowlick. This side does not have that, but it also looks like I have a line. That's my head shape. I used to think that I was getting bad haircuts. Turns out I just have a bad head. I didn't know that people could have bad heads. Oh, well, I can't figure this part out. I'll just go higher. And I took this man's fade from here to here. And I'll have you know, there's a big difference between starting a fade here and starting a fade here. One of them makes you look like you have a fade haircut. The other one makes it look like you're about to cry in boot camp. And I went up there. Him, Russian accent, he's like, you do okay, I guess. <laughs> he's like, it's okay. And he tipped me like 15 bucks, and then I never saw him again. He was the nicest upset man I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I just knew. How do you practice or expand your skills? I just sort of keep cutting. I just cut hair all the time. Or at least I did up until self-isolation. Has anyone actually complained about a haircut you've given them? 
worst customer story, and do you cut your own hair? I will answer the easiest one first. No, I don't cut my own hair. Not worth the risk. I don't want to be bald, and I'm going to end up bald if I cut my own hair. Maybe one day, but the risk of taking off my glasses and being this close to a mirror while trusting the other mirror behind me is terrifying. What is going on there? They're hurting me. The frames. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> Have you seen this man? I've had guys be like, oh, that's too short. Oh, you went too short. Or, oh, that's... It's fine, I guess. It's whatever. I... Uh, fine. Then I'm sad all day. But the worst customer story I ever had, if you've ever seen Shameless, then you know Frank. And if you know Frank, then you know the guy that sat in my chair. Mustache. Unkempt. Hair. Long. Not like shoulder length, but like Frank length. You know Frank. 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 Frankie! Frankie boy! You're a Frankie! Hey Frankie! I was ringing my last person out when that guy came in. Then I stood there for a second, writing in uh, an appointment for later or something. And they said, all right, go ahead and have a seat and we'll take you in a second. And he goes to sit down, and I called his name, and he goes to sit down and looks at me and goes, Ugh. And he's like, they said it would be a few minutes. And I was like, well, I was, I was able to get to you now. So yay, this is great. Sit him down, I'm like, how you doing? He's like, good, how are you? I was like, good, because I'm excited. I had just started cutting hair, I wasn't yet jaded. I said, so what are we doing today? And I got the worst possible answer to that question. Just give me a regular haircut. There is no such thing as a regular haircut. That implies that all other haircuts are irregular. When somebody says a regular haircut, I've come to learn that a regular haircut means shorter here, longer here, longest up here. Most haircuts do that. Most. Most are just varying degrees of short to long. Ah, this man. I said, so inch off all the way around? And he said, just give me a regular haircut. And I was like, okay. I'm wondering why did dude yell at me? What did I do? Who? peed in his cereal this morning. I didn't, so why is he yelling at me? I take off an inch, all the way around, a uniform cut, and then I show him in the mirror. I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, it looks the same. And I'm like, the hell it does. So do you want to take more off? Well, how long is that gonna take? Well, not long, now that I've done it once, I can just do it again really fast. He said, secretly wanting to die inside. So I took off another inch all the way around. And then I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, and I'm waiting. And he's like, so do you want more off? I'm like, all right, let's get started on the mustache. He also wanted his mustache done. So I go and I just kind of clean it to the lip because he asked for a mustache trim. And a mustache trim consists of trimming the mustache. Now I don't have that issue because I have the mustache of a 16 year old boy. But this man's mustache was very, very Frank like. You know Frank. Frank, hey, hey, Frank, Frank. I trim along the line and I'm like, all right, so do you want it shorter than that or do you like it at the lip? Did you also want length off? Yes, a mustache trim. That's not what the mustache trim is, but I can go ahead and I can do that for you, no worries. Easy peasy. Mustache tweezy. Ha! Know that, I'm gonna write that down in my notes. I'm gonna use it all the time. And so I took the length off, or I take the length off, I'm like, all right, what do you think of that? What do you think of that? Just do what you did to this side or the other side so I can get out of here. <gasps> okay. So I trimmed the other side of the mustache. Done. I'm like, would you like a shampoo? He's like, no, I want to get out of this chair. And starts taking the cape off by himself. So I'm like, hold on. So I take it off of him. He's like, worst haircut I've ever had in my life. I feel like I've been scalped. I can't believe this. The longest I've ever spent in a barber chair. So he walks up to the front. And he's like, you're not going to make me pay for this, are you? And I'm like, let me go get my manager. Uh, <sighs> that was not as big as I wanted it to be. Uh, About the same. <laughs> My manager goes up and says, Sir, what's the problem? I feel like I've been scalped. This is the worst haircut I've ever gotten in my life. Longest I've ever spent in a barber chair. Just, you know, playing the greatest hits. So my manager looks at the clock and goes, Sir, you've been in the chair for 30 minutes. And at that point, I walked away because I was very, very, very upset. And I sat in the back and I'm just like, Hmm. Mm. By the time I come out again, that man was given another haircut by my manager. That man had three more inches taken off of his hair. That man liked it and he got it for free. That man played me like a fiddle, like a darn fiddle. I'd never been played so hard in my life. It's the worst time I ever had with a client. And that taught me something that day. Don't trust guys named Frank. Is it true that you eat the hair when the shop is empty? No, hair splinters, not worth the risk. Do you like that, that I brought that back from like before? All right, well, if you like this, let me know. I'll answer questions on anything you want to know about that I also know about. I'm not going to answer questions on things I don't know about, because I can't answer those. Ask me questions about things that I know about, like Doctor Who. 
like, subscribe, hit the bell thing so you're notified when I make another video. Alright, bye!